at all times, his mitzvah are on my mind, even though, think about it, they are uncomfortable. It's still on my mind. So think about that as we go into prayer. As we step into prayer and we've donned the Torah itself, we have become the walking word of God. And we step in to our prayer life we have shed everything that God has laid upon us. Every burden that we've been, that's been laid upon us. Every struggle that has been laid upon us. We have set it before him and said, I need you to help me with this. Or I need you to uh, intervene on my behalf for someone else. When we go into prayer, we're going into prayer as it's a battle. It's okay. It is okay to pray for yourself, but it's even stronger for somebody to pray for you. You're better off going into your prayer closet with your tzitzit on, prepared for battle by yourself, going before the presence of the Almighty King in His holy throne room, completely alone, and nobody knows about it. That's more powerful than going to the altar, putting on your taliga dol, pulling it up over your head, going into prayer, and for the rest of the week, you never do it again. I mean, think about that. It, it, it almost is more for show than it is for tradition. And I, I'll be honest with you, I have been guilty of that in the past. I don't put on, I hadn't put on tzitzit, didn't wear a tallit katan, only wore my tallit on uh, Erev Shabbat and Shabbat services. And the Lord worked me over, you know, not worked me over, but he, he put it on my heart. Why would you go into battle unprepared? And why would you only go into battle when I've called you to be in battle every day? Why would you only go into battle prepared one day a week? It's important. We have to be prepared all the time. Whether he wakes you up at 3 o'clock in the morning, we have to be ready to go into battle. I do not sleep in my CT. But still, it's on my mind. And I don't know, I, the Lord put this on my heart earlier today. I don't know how many of you have had this where you're tested in a dream. Where you have events take place in a dream and you respond to those events and then the dream goes away. God is testing you. He's testing what is your will even though you are not conscious of your own thoughts. Because that's when your inclination takes over. And there's been times where I was tempted in a dream and thank the Lord that I was strong enough to resist the temptation and walk away from it. But those are times even, even then we have to have our mind completely focused on him and prepared to go into combat. So uh, I've gone a little bit over 